if you want any of your contact inputs set for the runtime meter function, never causing an alarm dial out, but reporting the total accumulated hours that the input contact is closed, program each channel as follows. Five. Five. The channel number? Zero. One. Four. Four. And then enter. Channel one is programmed for runtime mode. No alarm condition four. Channel one. Runtime mode is on. Channel one. Runtime is zero point zero hours. The totalizer function counts the accumulated number of pulses or momentary contact closures occurring at the input for a channel which you have programmed for totalizer operation. This function is typically used to accumulate the pulse output of flow meters. An alarm set point may be programmed to create an alarm call upon reaching a particular total value. Scale and offset factors are programmable and user recorded messages may be used. Any contact input channel may be programmed for the totalizer function, up to a total of eight totalizers. The input pulse rate must not exceed 100 pulses per second, and if the rate is over 50 pulses per second, the pulses must have a 50% duty cycle. To program a channel for totalizer operation, press 5. 5. The channel number? 0. 1. 7. Seven. And then enter. Channel 1. Totalizer count is 0. Percent is 1. Set point is 1. Zero, zero, 5. To establish a non-zero starting value for the spoken reading, add the desired spoken value after the 7 and before the enter. To establish a scale factor so that a number of pulses will be translated into a single spoken unit count, Press 5. 5. The channel number? 0. 1. 8. 8. The single spoken unit number? 1. And enter. Channel 1. Percent is 1. For example, if a pulse from a flow meter occurs for each one-tenth gallon of water flow, but the desired report is in thousandths of gallons, a value of 10,000 would be used for the unit number. The system uses the word percent in speaking of the scale factor. To establish a totalizer alarm set point, press 5. 5. The channel number? 0. 1. 6. 6. Then the alarm set point? 1. 0. 0. 5. Then enter. Channel 1. Set point is one zero zero five. When the scaled value reaches the programmed value, the unit will go into unacknowledged alarm and begin dialing. You may program a value of zero to cancel any previously programmed totalizer alarm set point or channel. To clear out all totalizer readings to zero in one step, press nine nine three three five five. Six, six, and enter. All totalizer count cleared. Now that the phone numbers and input channels have been programmed, you can begin initial testing of the system. First, temporarily disarm the unit by pressing disarm rearm disarm. until the disarm LED is flashing. This prevents the unit from dialing out. Next, physically trip each sensing device in turn and verify that the corresponding input channel LED lights up on the front panel. Now, restore all sensors to their normal state and press disarm rearm. Arm. This will clear out the channel input LEDs and restore the unit to a ready condition. Finally, to test the phone line connection, with the unit's phone cord plugged into its phone jack, temporarily remove the AC power cord to the unit. The power fail LED will illuminate. At this point, all illuminated LEDs will flash on and off in order to conserve battery power. Since the unit is not disarmed, this time after a one minute alarm trip delay, the phoning light will illuminate and the unit will access the phone line and begin dialing. You should hear the ringing sound 
and perhaps the sound of someone answering the phone. The unit will recite its station ID and power failure messages. You may converse with the person answering by pressing and releasing dial out press to talk key. Press this key again when you wish to speak and release the key to listen. This action will suspend message recital. In this case, when the conversation is done, you should end the call by pressing normal. Normal. Ordinarily, the alarm call would end automatically. Now press disarm rearm twice. Disarm. Arm. This step disarms and then rearms the unit, clearing all acknowledged alarms. This clearing also occurs automatically after the alarm reset time has elapsed.